Today I'm going to show you how to make a cumulus border design. This is a border design that has sort of a cloud look and appropriately I'm going to show you how to do it with white ink. All right, so I like to start with a pencil draft with this calligraphy border design because it is such a simple border design that a draft um, doesn't take up a whole bunch of time. So I like to start with a bit of a horseshoe shape like this, okay? And then make a little loop on each side and then make a really curly, curly cue like this, okay? And then do that on the other side as well. It's okay if they're not exactly the same. And then what you're going to do is make a number three shape right here. So it's almost going to touch this curly shape. Let's start it actually just underneath here. And then a little loop in the middle there and then a loop that goes down, okay? And then same thing on this side, except the three is going to be um, the wrong way. So facing the other way from how you would normally draw a three, I'm gonna make this a little bit curlier. So again, start under this, and then we make that loop in the center, and then go down, okay? So, I'm going to repeat that on the other side, but speed up the video because you've already seen the process. Okay, there we go. So now you can leave this just like this if you want to, or you can add lines, to just fill in the rest of the space. I'm going to add those lines to see how they'll look. And then I may or may not keep them at the inking stage, just depending on how I feel like it looks with those. I actually like the way that looks, so let's ink over those. Okay, so now you are going to grab your pen holder and nib of choice. I love to use the Browse Extra Fine 66 nib because it gives you nice thick down strokes and thin up strokes. And I really like using it in an oblique pen holder if I'm flourishing because I feel like it really, the, the pen helps me to keep my hand out of the way. So there's a lot less of a chance that I am going to mess up my flourishes. So actually, instead of starting with that horseshoe, what I'm going to do is start with this flourish right here. And if you find that your white ink is not cooperating, I recommend diluting it more. My dilution levels are fine, it's flowing pretty well. Remember the Extra Fine 66 is a very small nib, so it is going to run out of ink quite quickly as you make a border like this. If you're using the Extra Fine 66, use a nib like the Nico G, and you will be able to last a little longer, but you won't get that fabulous stroke contrast. You'll still get stroke contrast, it just won't be quite as dramatic. There we go. Going to clean these up a little bit. Okay, and then we'll finish that part up. This nib holds basically no ink, but it looks so fabulous. I love to use it. Alrighty, now we do our three. And then we'll finish up with that loop. And there we go. All right, now the other side. Notice that this part of my flourish and this part look quite different. That's okay because 
when you have flourishes like this, there's just so much going on that it takes looking very closely at the page to figure out that there's a mistake. Besides, if we wanted perfect symmetry, we would have used a computer. And where's the fun in that? Alrighty, so now let's do it again. Be very mindful this time of your hand with the other side of this page here because you don't want to smudge that ink. White ink especially takes a fair amount of time to dry. So we want to make sure that we don't ruin it by putting our hand over that wet ink. Be very conscientious of that. If you want to be extra careful, you can even wait until this dries to draw in the other side. But if you think you can be careful, then it's not necessary. All right, this is gonna be a little challenging to keep my hand out of the way here, not smudge the other side, but it can be done. Okay, now same thing, let's make these threes. Just kind of being mindful of keeping my hand out of the way. This isn't the optimal position, hand position that I would normally use to draw these threes, but I just wanna be really careful because that is the worst when you've made some flourishes that are looking really good and then you go over them with your hand. Not a good feeling. Oh, come on now. Okay. Now we're making the backwards three and finishing up with this tail here. And then, uh, yeah, I, I do think, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these lines. I like these lines. They're gonna be freehand drawn, so not perfect but just enough to finish up this border with some personality. We could even, you know, since this is actually a square envelope, I don't know if you knew this was an envelope or not, but we can put, tuck a stamp into the corner of one of these. Okay. Once you are absolutely certain that your ink has dried, you will use an eraser to get rid of these pencil guidelines just to make sure everything looks nice and clean. I actually allowed my ink to dry overnight. This white ink is kind of like nail polish. I mean, we've all been there um, where you paint your nails and then you think it's all dry and you bump against something and it turns out it wasn't dry, that's how white ink is. It might seem dry to the touch, but then you rub an eraser against it and it's not. So always best to wait overnight or several hours. And once all of these pencil lines are gone, you are good to write calligraphy and address whatever you want in there. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.